Carlo Ancelotti's men don't make light work of them. Nacho getting on the ball, he gave that one away. They might be exposed here, Real Madrid. We shall see if Almeria can move it around. And what a chance! Oh, it's a goal for Almeria in the first minute from Ramazzani. It all stemmed from Nacho and his pass. And Almeria circulated the ball. Largi Ramazzani. See that block in place again for Almeria. Danny Carvajal, Ooh. and could easily have gone in. Chumi, and they got the touch on the ball. As quickly as possible, they're allowing Almeria their share of the ball here. They're not into the game, they're still slipping. Oh, here's a shooting Ooh. possibility, Ooh. and that is an absolute beauty. Well, you cannot strike them any better than that. Edgar Gonzalez has made it 2-0 to Almeria. Two for the bottom club, Almeria. Wow. S setting the Bernabeu on fire. Another bad pass by Nacho, and this time it's Edgar Gonzalez with this left foot effort from downtown. Right in the top corner with his left foot. He's a center back, but he has also got quality. His father, Luis Gonzalez, used to score goals for Espanyol and for Merida in Primera División. Part of Almería's league, trying to avoid relegation. Fran García tempting ball in there. Oh, it missed everyone, including Bellingham, who was trying to make that run right at the end. This was Fran García. Great cross with pace, curling the ball. Rudiger's leap is outstanding. Bellingham didn't get there for a matter of inches. Well, having to adjust one or two things here in comparison with what Carlo Ancelotti has to go through with Real Madrid. Now, let's just have a look at what happened here. They're taking a possible handball. Yeah. Let's see where it might have occurred. It's Kaiki, the Brazilian. Oh, the arm is outstretched. But did it definitely make contact with it? Well, they're studying it in the VAR centre, Alejandro Jose Hernandez Hernandez, man from Lanzarote. And the referee just calling for calm out there on the pitch. Interestingly, this VAR official, Real Madrid, have had problems, they say, with him before. He's not a Real Madrid favourite, but. Okay, there's the arm position now. Yeah. Where did it come off? At what point? What position of the arm? And the referee is going to have a look himself now. So this could very well spell trouble for Almeria. So the delay is going to get even longer, and that is what he'll be looking at. When you look at the still picture, and if you can confirm that that did indeed touch the arm then under modern interpretation you're going to give that yeah because the problem is the arm is outstretched it's occupying a major volume it's the ball bounces off Jose Lu's head and that's probably what the referee is checking it's it's not a direct impact it's after Jose Lu tries to head the ball of course the age-old question is what's the arm doing there when it comes to the Natural position, why was the arm outstretched? Some will say, well, you have to move it away from your body if you are going to make that jump. Penalty given, much to the chagrin of Almeria. Kaiska Garitano is livid. Kaiki, a judge to have been the culprit. They're claiming that there was a push. The Almeria advantage, Jude Bellingham to take it. The Englishman, Bellingham against Luis Maximiano. Just off on the angle here, Bellingham. Approaching 57 minutes at the Bernabeu. 
and here is Bellingham, and in it goes. 2-1, Real Madrid, back in business. The penalty awarded against Kaiki, and the Real Madrid fans believe that this is only the beginning. Calm, composed, through the middle. That was the execution by Jude Bellingham after the referee awarded this action by Kaiki as a penalty. They were claiming a push on the Brazilian defender, but this is how they reacted once the decision was made. Jude Bellingham right through the middle, sending Luis Maximiano to his right. Let's see where Bellingham has positioned himself. Couldn't feed it through against Robertone. Well, that was nicely done go. by Lopi. And Ramazani's away. Rudiger doing the defending. And it had to be Arribas returning to the Bernabeu. Sergio Arribas. This is incredible. No sooner had Real Madrid pulled a goal back than Almeria restore the two-goal cushion and it's all gone rather quiet here in Chamartin Arribas it all started here they're checking the inception of the play by a possible foul by Lopi on Jude Bellingham but other than that it all starts with this Action with Bellingham getting dispossessed and then Lopi finding Ramazani on the left hand side. What we were just asking for Almeria to do, and uh, that assist with the outside of the foot just sending an open invitation to the goal for Sergio Arribas. The composure using his weaker foot, yeah. and you did pick up on it earlier. Lopi with the potential foul, they can't quite believe it on the Almeria bench. But referee Francisco Jose Hernandez Maeso is having a look at it, and this is what he will be judging it on. There. Enough to call that a foul and annul the goal? I think so. And the referee was right there, next to the play. But once he sees it on the screen, he's going he's gonna to turn the ball. Yeah. He's going to call it off. Well, not making an instant decision, it's worth having a look at the continuation of the move, Ramazani, Arribas, 22-year-old, who hails from this city, used to be on the books of Real Madrid. And let's see. Well, they wait to hear, nobody quite clear initially. But it's yellow for Lopi, and it's no goal. I think they weren't quite sure, based on the signal, what the referee <laughs> had decided on, but uh, at the end of his patience here, Geiska Garitano, the goal has been disallowed because of this action by Lopi on Bellingham. Fran Garcia. Vinicius. Trying to break the shackles of Mark Pubil. He carries on, Vinicius! Chumi was there, throwing himself at the ball. Close now for Real Madrid. Dani Carvajal. Jose Lu positioned in the centre. And Bellingham in there as well! Oh. oh, that has gone in! And that didn't go to plan at all for Almeria. Vinicius wheels away in celebration. Not much Maximiano could have done about that. Well, the music strikes up, but the referee is having his say. Kaiki was the player who decided to fling himself at it, and this, for the moment, not going to count. Well, we ask the question, what next? <laughs> well, Chumi, it was, picking himself up. Having gone down, but we'll have another opportunity to look at this. He needs points into his shoulder. Crossed by Tuamini. And it's there a was yeah, Vinicius off the arm. You could see that. That angle. And he was also pushing Kaiki as well. It's 
so not given as a goal. Yeah. yeah. Well, he thought he'd better celebrate anyway. Vinicius. Well, still, we wait well, to be formally checked. They've been busy there today, uh -oh, haven't they? In the VAR centre. Well, he's going over to have a look here now. Carlo Ancelotti, his usual posture and demeanour. Imagine the reaction from Almeria if this is somehow given after the previous decisions. Again, you be the judge here, Alex. Mm, I what? think it's a handball. You can score with your shoulder, yeah. but I think that the surface of impact is clearly part of the arm, not the shoulder. Yeah, was it upper shoulder? Was it a legal part of the body or not? I think it's the forearm. I think that was our conclusion to begin with, looking at it. We reached out certainly with the arm, but it is a matter of where it hit the arm. Oh, that has been given. And, well, Geiska Garitano simply cannot believe it. Vinicius gets credit for the goal. It's 2-2. The reaction is almost one of, I'm done here. Potentially the decisive third goal calls for Brahim Diaz, and there's Vinicius. Oh, and it looked as though that had to go in. Well, Maximiano standing guard. A corner is what has been given. They're claiming for a penalty, actually, on Brahim. Here. Ozelu to steer that one back. Bellingham. Showing control, Brahim Diaz. Trying to do everything at high speed here, Real Madrid. Danny Carvajal, Bellingham tries the acrobatic oh, attempt. Oh, oh, oh. Wow! Had that gone in, had that gone in, we would have been raving about it for years to come. Watch Bellingham here. So. Aesthetically pleasing. That's that's why he reminds me so much of Zinedine Zidane. Well, it really has had so much dramatic tension this game. And of course, Almeria contributing to that with her two goals in the first half. There is a second yellow for Gaiska Garitano. Camavinga trying to drive Real Madrid forward. Pozzo doing the defending, Bellingham, switch of play. Good ball. Danny Carvajal. Brahim Diaz, over it comes, and Bellingham with the header, who wants it? Well, it has been finished off. Danny Carvajal. Wild celebrations here at the Bernabeu. It's the Real Madrid late show. They've got to be gutted. The Almeria players, they have given it everything. But they have conceded what looks like the all-important third goal. And Danny Carvajal, now shirtless, but full of the joys.